What up, Pante? Welcome back to Way of Yao. My name is Yao, and it is a pleasure to see you all. Guys, I am so excited. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, we will be reviewing a brand new product. These are the Huda Beauty Nymph All Over Body Highlighters. When I saw that these were announced, I was so excited because summer is approaching and we need to be glowy, we need to be shimmering, we need to be snatched for the summer, right? And so I'm hoping that this is going to look gorgeous on my skin tone. A lot of the time, some of these liquid highlighters can look a little bit grey, a little bit too light. So I'm hoping that this is going to give me a really nice finish on the skin and also help some of you guys to use me as reference to know what color you might want to go for. So before I show you all the good tea, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you are a part of the family. Hit that notification bell so that you could be first notified when I upload a brand new video. Hit that like button if you actually enjoyed this video, if you learned something, if it helped you in any way whatsoever. And make sure to leave in the comment section what you would like to see next, what you liked from this video and if you liked the video. And without further ado, let's get into to this video. Now before we get into skin I'm gonna do some basic eye work. A lot of you guys asked to see some basic looks from me so here you go. I'm literally just gonna pop a little bit of concealer onto my lids for a base. I didn't actually use that much concealer because I'm going for more of a natural glowy look. We're not going for a really harsh eye look. So now I'm gonna go in with the 18 Hit Wonders palette from e.l.f makeup. Now I'm going to go into heat which is this burnt orange shade here and then I'm going to use some of the shimmers probably Penny and maybe a little bit of Fave as well just on the inner corners. So I'm literally just going to dust that in there. And guys the pigment on this is actually a lot stronger than I thought it would be. And I rarely go for like really warm shades like this but this is actually giving the eye a really nice it's really nice. I love like this burnt orange sort of look that it's giving me. Now I'm just gonna take Penny and place that on the inner and center of my lid. A little bit more dimension. Now I'm taking quartz and I'm just popping that on the inner part of the eye. Perfect, so now that the eyes are on, we are gonna get into skin. I've already moisturized, however, we are gonna add some additional moisture using the Super Collagen Mist from DHC. Now, this is a product I've not used before and this is a brand that I've not seen before. But as you know, collagen is really good at giving your skin moisture and really helping to get it glowy. I am going to just spray this and see how it works with my skin. Ooh, nice. I'd say that if anything, it smells more like water with like a tiny dollop of something. It has very natural smell. Perfect, so now to move on to the main course, we are gonna be getting into the Nymph All Over Body Highlighters. This is what the packaging looks like. Super duper cute, nice. And it has legs on the front. I really find the um the visuals that she chose for this collection amazing like when people think of glow they usually use their chest their body their face even their arms sometimes but she chose to use legs as the as the focus and i think that that is such a great idea and this is how they look so you get three shades you get luna which is the lighter shade you get Aphrodite, which is the medium shade, and then you have Aurora, which is the deepest shade. I will definitely say that it looks quality, it looks expensive, it looks like money. I at first thought that this was glass, but it's not, it's plastic, which I'm actually happy about, because when it is glass and it, let's say you make a mistake and you drop it, and these are quite big, you can get into some mistakes. It does also come with a brush, and this is how the brush looks. I think this brush actually looks beautiful. It's really nice and dense. The hairs are really, really soft. I don't even know what to describe it. Like velvet almost, like a velvety type of material. So it's definitely very smooth. And it's called the Body Blur and Glow. Whoop, I'm ready to glow sis. So I am gonna be taking the darker shade, which is Aurora. Now I'm gonna try to use it bit by bit because I don't want to put too much on at once. I can just imagine it's gonna 
It can look quite intense, especially considering I'm quite dark, so I'm gonna use a little bit by bit. I'm gonna start off on the chin. Okay, that is pigmented. Very pigmented. Wow, a little bit goes a very, very long way. I'm just gonna place it in the places where I would usually highlight. And as you can see, it looks quite mad. I'm not gonna lie. It looks very, very, very pigmented. I definitely put a bit too much on this side. I'm just gonna try to reduce it so it doesn't look as crazy. They dry really quickly, guys, which I don't know what to make of that. Especially if you do want to use it on other parts of your body, like your legs, how is it going to blend out? Oh my god, fingers make such a big difference. I much prefer using fingers with a product like this. Also going to highlight my forehead a tad. This is something I don't usually do, so it's cool to see how it will look at the end of the look. I'm going to blend it out a little bit just to see if we can get an overall glow going on. Can you see where I placed it that it doesn't actually want to blend from where I put it down? I would say that it's definitely helping to give me a nice glowy finish before I place my foundation down. However, I'm hoping it will work a little bit better on the body. I think that for the face, it might be... Maybe if you mix it with your foundation, it might work a little bit better, but for the face, it's a little bit difficult to blend out, especially if you have dry skin like mine. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. This is their darker shade number 18, and we are just going to see how it blends on top of the Huda Beauty Illuminator. So recently, I've been absolutely loving this foundation because the pigment and the coverage is so intense guys so i'm excited to see how it is going to go over this foundation is it going to allow the foundation highlighter if it is it going to allow the highlighter to really show through and glow it's definitely still allowing that glow to show through so what we're going to do we're going to move on to highlight and contour and see how it looks so now it's time to contour i'm going to take my favorite contour in the entire world this is from tilt makeup this is actually a foundation stick however it is so dark let me just show you guys it is so dark my goodness gracious me i love this and i've actually not been able to find a contour as dark as this or as easy to blend as this sometimes you find some that are a little bit more oily a little bit more this and a little bit more that but this is stunning so i'm going to use my flex concealer from milk and this is in the shade tan i'm just gonna use this to highlight all the general places now this concealer is quite full coverage i'm not gonna lie so i don't imagine that the glow would show through this but there's only one way to find out and actually speaking of milk they did an event the other day which is actually really cute they had um i mean i had a lot of fun girl if you saw any stories you would see that your sis had a lot of fun i did a little bit of dancing or whatnot but it was it was it was a key it was definitely a key they had a few people come in and perform they had some people that were there dancing all sorts of things going on so it was really 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 cute i'm now adding a little bit of the 52 concealer from makeup forever this really helps to brighten even further so i'm gonna set my face using my ben nye powders i'm gonna use sienna in the center of my face as i usually do and i'm going to use ebony on the perimeters of my face so i'll finish setting the rest of my face and what i would say is that as we add more layers that illuminator definitely starts to disappear a little bit i feel that if you're more of a full coverage queen the illuminator might not show up as well underneath unless you go for like a really dewy base or you're more of a natural kind of girl that's when you're going to see more results but definitely we're going to see how it looks on the body now let's move into highlighter i'm going to take my favorite highlighter this is my pop beauty coral crush highlighter i've probably used this in a previous video it has like a pinkish look to it but it has a goldish undertone to it but a very subtle gold very neutral kind of gold very subtle highlighter so now i'm gonna go ahead and set my face using the makeup forever mixed and fix hopefully with this it's gonna break down that powdery look and help the glow to come out a little bit 
more. So I'm gonna try this new gloss. This is from My Lottie London in collaboration with Imogen and it is in the shade 13. This is really nice peachy pinky sort of shade so we're gonna see how that looks on the lip oh my god it smells gorgeous this shade is actually very universal i'd say that it would definitely look good on any skin tone whether you're dark light medium it's gonna look really nice on you what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna finish off the eyes i'm gonna add a little bit of mascara a little bit of gold liner and some lashes and then i'm going to show you how the glow looks on the body so Give me a second. So I'm back, I did a little liner, a little mascara, and I left it there. I didn't want to add lashes because I wanted to keep it as simplistic and natural looking as possible. We're going for more of a glowy, sunkiss kind of look today, as you can see, and I hope we are achieving it. I'll definitely say that after I set it, I can see a little bit of luminosity on my skin that I wouldn't see had I not used the Huda Beauty um, illuminator. So I do think that I do think it has made a difference. Is it enough of a difference for me to make sure I use it every day? Probably not. I would probably mix it in with like a foundation just to give me more of a glowy finish. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is place it on to the chest to see how it looks. I mean my cheekbones, cheekbones, collarbones are already quite defined and already quite prominent. So hopefully it's going to help and give me a little bit more definition and be really cute so let's have a look so i'm literally just gonna go ahead and go kind of ham wow wow it's pigmented it definitely goes a long way <laughs> wow so this is how it looks as you can see it's very bronzy very shimmery it looks absolutely stunning, I will not lie. Because I do like to highlight quite brightly in the center of my face, I guess it kind of matches that color a little bit better. So it kind of works with that, but I still feel as though they need to go for, they do need to bring out a darker shade because this is absolutely stunning. Based on what I can see, I look like, I look like some type of machine and it really helps to enhance your bone structure, just everything just looks so sickening and I'm actually feeling myself. I'm actually ready for like summer, I'm just being honest, I am ready, but I feel as though so that my whole body looks the same colour, I probably have to blend it down as well because you can't have hair looking all brighter than hair looking a lot darker or it will look like what's going on here, like something's not adding up. So I definitely like this product quite a lot. I think it looks really nice, it's really glowy, really luminous. On the legs it's going to look absolutely stunning absolutely stunning even on the chest looks absolutely stunning it's gorgeous it's making me look real metallic -y and i'm getting my life perfect so my verdict on the liquid highlighters the body highlighters okay so this brush it works really well on the body really helps to diffuse that color out and get it blended out perfect for the body i can just imagine on the legs it's going to be absolutely gorgeous on the face however not so much on the face i'd say that if you want to use that on the face just go in with what you usually use whether that be a mini brush or a sponge whatever you use use that because it's going to allow it to blend out more precisely on those high points of your face if you want to just do drown the whole face then maybe this just might work but even then it i just feel as though it doesn't allow you for enough precision and it probably won't blend it as well on the face as a sponge would i just would say to use a sponge on the face this works really well on the body though absolutely love it as you can see we are glowing and it has me looking snatched moving on to the actual product um when i feel it it doesn't feel sticky at all um it seems to be staying on it didn't say that it was transfer proof it said that it was transfer resistant I would say that maybe that's true, however, it is still transferring when I place my hand on it. Definitely there's some shimmer on my hand. So, um, yeah, it's still a bomb product. I don't expect any makeup to be transfer proof. I'd say that in terms of your foundation, after you've like set it with some setting spray, that's when you'll probably notice the glow start to show through, especially on the forehead area. I can see a little bit of the glow trying to come through, but if you're somebody who like really cakes on the powder at that point you're not really going to see any 
glow because it's going to be like hidden underneath the layers basically the less makeup you wear the more the glow is going to show through so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope you have enjoyed this review and i hope it's helped you to get a greater understanding of the product and see what shade you would like to go for and on that note stay blessed and i'll see you in the next one bye guys